Good morning, I'm Dina, and I love the journey to the cross, and I love Jesus' time on the cross. Though it's a painful story in scripture to read, I think it so clearly demonstrates the character of the God that we love and serve. So Jesus is up on the cross, and there's this one particular passage from the Gospels that stands out to me, and I think is just mind-blowing and revealing the depth of care and love that Jesus has for people. It's in John 19, verse 26 through 27. It says this, he's on the cross. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. So that's what it says in the scriptures. And here is why that absolutely blows my mind. Jesus is, first of all, in agony. He is in physical agony. He's crucified to the cross. Every breath is painful for him. Speaking is incredibly painful. But in the midst of that agony, as well as the fact that this is literally the greatest act of self-sacrificial love that has ever been done, in the midst of his agony and in the midst of that sacrifice, he looks and he sees his mom and he knows what his death is going to mean to her. Even though he knows that he's going to rise again, he's gonna defeat death, he knows that his time on earth has come to a close. And in the midst of his agony and his sacrifice, he has the presence of mind to look at his mother and provide for her. And that blows my mind. That blows my mind because it says to me on my hard days, when I think I'm going through it and I'm having a hard time today, and then I'm thinking about all of, all of the things that God is in charge of in the world. I'm thinking about how he's in charge of natural disasters and helping the victims. And I'm thinking about people that have incredible illnesses they're walking through. And I'm thinking about him helping government officials navigate these terrible problems and giving them wisdom. And then I think, okay, my problems, they probably don't matter. But then I read this scripture and I realize no thing is too small for my God. If Jesus on the cross could have the presence of mind to care for his mother that he was about to leave, then Jesus today can still look down into my everyday situation and get me the help that I need for where I am at. And he doesn't look on my problems and despise them. He didn't look at Mary and say, hey, you know, what you're going through pales in comparison to what I'm going through and what I'm about to do for the world. Rather, he is a God of love. He is a faithful son just there to care for his mother. I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know if in this Easter season, you're doing your hardest to think about what God did for you and to think about your sin and to think about why Jesus needed to come and you're maybe sacrificing things for Lent. I don't know what is going on right now in your life, but here's what I know. I know that God sees everything. I know that even though his attention is on so many different things, I know that his attention is also on you and he cares for you and he is able to provide you the help that he need, that you need. So why don't you reach out to him today? Why don't you lift up your eyes to Jesus and say, Jesus, just as you cared for your mother, please care for me because I am in need. We cannot take a single breath without his help. So let's not go through this present trial without his presence. I hope that encourages you this morning.